Wisdom. It's an incredibly valuable asset. Some would say more precious than gold. It's attractive, appealing, admirable. Conversely, a lack of wisdom is the basis of immaturity, blind spots, and bad decisions. Wisdom. It can be gained over time, but it can't be rushed. But wisdom can be shared. That's precisely what we are here to do right now. Today, we are here to hack wisdom, to distill it, to understand it, and to process it. Why? To get better at life. Welcome to The Main Thing. This is your new nine-minute podcast. I'm your host, Skip Lineberg, and I've set out to interview the wisest people I know. We'll see what we can learn from each one when they're faced with an incredibly difficult, soul-piercing question. Welcome back to The Main Thing Podcast. I'm your host, Skip Lineberg, coming to you today from Parkwood Studios with another special delivery of wisdom. In just a moment, you'll meet our wise guest, an executive with my favorite Major League Baseball team. We'll get a glimpse at what it's like to work in the exciting world of professional sports. For our first-time listeners, a big welcome. So glad you're here with us. I hope you enjoy the podcast, and I invite you to also head on over to our website to learn more about the additional wisdom offerings we have for you, including our twice-monthly newsletter. It's all available to you at the mainthingpodcast.com. Now, for our special guest, Chad Boland is a veteran sport marketer with over 30 years of experience generating revenue and maximizing results. He's worked in the NFL, the NBA, major college sports, and he's now an executive with my beloved Baltimore Orioles. Chad is skilled in the revenue-producing areas of franchise operations, including naming rights, sponsorship marketing, sports media sales, tickets, and suite sales. Chad's a graduate of West Virginia University. He and his high school sweetheart, Tammy, have been married for 31 years, and they have two great adult children, Sydney and Jimmy. Chad enjoys traveling, fishing, hiking, rescued dogs, and all things WVU Mountaineers. Chad joins us from his office in the warehouse atop Oriole Park in Camden Yards in Baltimore. Step into the batter's box and get ready. Over the next nine minutes, not nine innings, but nine minutes, you will discover why Chad Bolin is one of the wisest people I know. Chad Bolin, good morning. Welcome to the Main Thing Podcast. Hi, Skip. How are you doing? Good. Happy Friday, yes, my sir. friend. Uh, Chad, looking at the back wall of your office there, I love where you're located. Tell our listeners uh, where you're sitting and what's outside your window. I am sitting in the warehouse at Camden <laughs> Yards, and outside my yeah. window is right center field. It's an old building, but it has a great view. Oh, yeah. Chad, before we get any further in the conversation, uh, the audience is, uh, God bless them, they're listening to these two guys uh, talk about uh, sports. Uh, Who are these two? Well, Skip, we met each other at WVU at Phi Sigma Kappa, and you are my big brother in the fraternity. Yeah, that's right. I've had my big brother on. Folks will remember Dennis Gillen from uh, uh, Episode 6. And uh, so my big brother, now my little brother, is on as well. And uh, what a what a treat. What a blessing. Uh, so, yeah, we go, we way, go back. way back. We go was... way back. Along the course of your career, you crossed paths, I believe, with another famous West Virginian by the name of Jerry West. Did you not? I certainly did. Would you would you share that story with us? Yeah, he's a, he's a just an amazing guy. Um, clearly, he's had just a great career with the Lakers uh, uh, and the Grizzlies. And now I think he's a consultant for the LA Clippers and Steve Ballmer's team. So um, I'm working with the Memphis Grizzlies. We're in a rebuild and um, our owner out of the, out of the blue hires Jerry West to be the president. It was a shocking move. I mean, he's Jerry flipping West and he would come down to, you know, come down uh, to the sales floor, people selling just anything you needed he would do. And, uh, you know, we needed a lot. Wow. We, we were essentially building a team from nothing. Uh, yeah. and, uh, basically an expansion team. Uh, the team had moved from Vancouver. Uh, okay. But Jerry completely turned around that team in a short amount of time. And uh, we were able to build on some success. And uh, the team is there doing well. 
it sounds like he's real hands on. Number one. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. He's not an arms, not an arms length executive no. with this uh, sitting in his ivory tower. Yeah. No, not at all. I mean, which but was, I, which was, you know, surprisingly uh, refreshing. Yeah. You know, you'd walk course. the hall and it would be Jerry West, you know, he would poke his head in your door and, you know, tell you a joke or, uh, you know, go to lunch. Amazing. With Chad, thanks for sharing your uh, Jerry West experience. That was really cool. Yeah, Skip, that was just uh, great working with the guy. I mean, I grew up with his poster on my wall as a kid. (laughs) There you go. Wow. What a dream come true. What about for you uh, in your job as a sports marketer? Um, Talk a little bit about what you do. So when I got here, January of 2021, we were coming off 19... 115 loss season, then the pandemic on top of that. So we had lost uh, an enormous amount of our business on the corporate side. So I would uh, imagine. Yes. So, I mean, it, I, I won't say it was down to nothing, but it was down, like really down. And uh, uh, our owner hired uh, a good friend of mine to be the chief revenue officer. His name's TJ okay. Brightman. And he called me. I was working in, at Florida State at the time in college. I uh, was wanting to get back into the pros and wanting to get geographically closer to home. This is our 70th year as the Baltimore Orioles, so it's not a new franchise. However, coming right. off, you know, part of the rebuild coupled with the pandemic, um, the, the, the business had had been affected tremendously. So, you know, we had to, in essence, re- rebuild the business as well. Of course. So that's Everybody what I do. to be yeah, I mean, associated with the winner. Yes. Not, not the team that lost 300 games right. uh, in a you, couple of years time. I like to say though, on, on the business side, um, you know, you can't, you, you can't uh, depend on wins to save you. Um, as a as a marketer of sports, okay. it's a mathematic fact. Skip every night in Major League Baseball, the NBA, the NFL, whatever sport. Every night, half the teams lose, unless it's <laughs> soccer. I don't think anybody expected to win 101 games. If if somebody tells you that, they're they're probably lying. <laughs> um, but we certainly we we certainly expected the trajectory to. Um, keep going up. And yeah. um, so now we're, we're super competitive. We're a really good team and it's, it's paying off on uh, you know, we're firing on all cylinders here. Tickets are up. Sponsorships are up. All of our business metrics are up and sure. um, times are good in Birdland. Good. So glad. Yeah. And, and you as a fan, I'm, I'm happy for you, you know, <laughs> and, and you know, the millions of other Orioles fans because that's that's what's great about this business is just being able to bring joy to people. I love it so much. 192. 192 extra minutes of wisdom. That's what you get when you become a patron of the Main Thing Podcast. Many of you continue to say, we want to hear more from these wise guests. That's precisely what patrons of our podcast get. Exclusive access to bonus episodes called The Whole Thing. These 30-minute special shows bring you a deeper dive into our guests' wisdom. Less editing, more laughter. Less time limits, more stories. Unlock those 192 extra minutes of wisdom for yourself for as little as $9 per month through the Patreon platform. And when you become a patron, you also get access to wisdom essays, behind-the-scenes glimpses, and access to special patron-only wisdom gatherings. Head over to patreon.com slash the main thing podcast. Go unlock your 192 extra minutes of wisdom. Chad Bolin, what's the main thing you've learned in your lifetime so far? Skip, the main thing I've learned in my lifetime so far is the strength of our relationships often determine the extent of our success. Oh, wow. The strength of our relationships often determine our success? Often determine the extent of our success. 
take us through all the rich nuance and meaning of your main thing, wisdom phrase. Skip, if you think about <clears throat> any relationship that the, that you have, whether it's personal, professional, if it's a strong relationship, yep. then you have a higher probability of having a successful relationship. So think, think about probably the most important relationship you'll have in your time on earth is the relationship with your spouse. And if yes. that relationship is super strong, then mm. you will have a higher probability of a successful marriage. Right. Same thing in a professional relationship. If you have a very strong relationship with your customer, mm -hmm. then you will have you will have a higher probability of a successful partnership in business. Um, for sure. For sure. And you know, think about your employer or uh, your employees. You know, like I say, our relationships matter. We are relational beings. And in this day and age, there's really no excuse for staying in touch with people that you have a relationship with. Did someone teach you the value of this principle? Did a mentor model it for you? Um, how, how, did you um, how did you latch on to this main thing? Well, I mean, probably the person that has meant the, the most to me in my life was, is, is probably my dad. Um, sure. so, you know, I've, I've learned just countless lessons from him. And, and I remember one you know, professionally when I, when I, when I left the Charlotte Knights, uh, to, okay. to, to take another job, um, he, he, he told me don't burn the bridge, you know? Okay. And, yeah. uh, I didn't. And so I, there's still people there that I met in Charlotte that I still keep in touch with professionally that's, that's and awesome. personally. That's awesome. So your dad was a relationship guy. My dad ran the YMCA's in Beckley, West Virginia, Raleigh County. Um, he ran the YMCA and, um, you know, the, that's right. You, you, you keep the lights on through, uh, through donations in that business. Mm -hmm. And so he had a relationship with uh, a lot of people. I, I look back at, at what he's done and the people that he's, he's touched through the years. I mean, every kid in Beckley, West Virginia, came up playing sports through the Y. And, uh, for sure. You know, just generations upon generations. And he, he did that for 30 years. Wow. Tip of the cap to your dad. We are relational beings. We were created yeah. to have relationship with each other. So... Uh, you know, go out there and be a good friend. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's great advice. Great place to leave it. I appreciate and treasure our relationship, Chad, and I can't thank you enough for, uh, for collaborating on this uh, episode of the Main Thing Podcast today. Skip, thanks for having me, and I look forward to uh, listening to your podcast every week. Wow, that goes by incredibly fast, doesn't it? Time flies when you're hacking wisdom. I hope you're left wanting more. Sync up with us again next time on The Main Thing for nine more minutes of wisdom.